Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Bright Rose, and welcome back to Minecraft. And we are just going to go over my process of how I like to do little textured walls. It's quick, it's simple, it works, and it's the way I like to do things as a kind of default when I want to throw up a quick building for some sort of recording thing or things like that. So, Let's have a quick look and I'll show you what I do. So first of all, because we are in creative, let's grab some blocks. Now I'm gonna start off with some spruce and some stone, because these are gonna form the framework for what I'm going for. Now I'm just gonna throw up quickly a little frame showing roughly where I want the wall to be. This is going to border the edge of it. It's just going to be very simple, very quick. And then I'm just going to add another vertical here. And because what I'm going to do is I'm going to recess the wall. So this is going to be the front part and we're going to recess it one block back. And I'm going to add these blocks here just to place the other blocks again. So they're just temporary in that right now. So now we've got the outsides of the wall, the framework put in, and some temporary blocks that we can throw our building blocks against. We're going to go for the pallet. And this is a very simple stone-based one. So we're going to go, first of all, for some stone bricks. And we're going to start off with the mossy ones. Then we're going to go to the normal stone bricks. And then from there, we are going to go to stone. And we're going to finish off with some andesite, which we are going to use as the sort of highlight block. And the way I'm going to do this is we're just going to throw these blocks in. We're going to start with the mossy ones and we're going to put these roughly around the edges in the corner with the greater concentration of them being towards the bottom and the corners of the wall. Something like that. Then we're going to go up the stone bricks and we're just going to throw those in, touching the mossy stone bricks like that. Very quick, very simple, just building up on top of it. So you've got little bits like that. From there, what we're going to do then is lob some stone in. And we're basically working our way to the middle. And once you've got a few little blocks left like that, we're going to throw some andesite in as the lightest blocks like that. One thing you can do is add in a couple of different little highlight blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some polished andesite this time. I'm also going to get some cracked stone bricks that we can throw in. And I'm going to get some chiseled stone bricks as well. And what you can do is you can look around your pattern for where to add little bits of what are basically eye-catching blocks. So we're going to get rid of those. We're going to put the cracked ones in like that. Maybe we'll get rid of this stone block here. We'll add a little bit of polished andesite in like that, just to bring your attention to that point in the build. I'm going to get rid of that one. And we'll throw in a chiseled stone brick there. Now that we've got the framework and the stonework in, what we can do is add a few little details here and there just to make things look a little bit more interesting. And we can add some spruce trap doors around the bottom like that just to look like a little bit of reinforcement. And we can add a couple of stone buttons dotted at the bottom to look like metal pins or something being added in there. What I like to do as well is add some fence gates along like this. I like adding spruce to match up with the spruce and I think that the jungle wood works really well with the spruce as a sort of more weathered, lighter look. So that just adds in a very quick and simple wall. And if you're adding another level on top, I like adding some spruce stairs just in the corners like that, that you can then extend up from this bottom level and that's really quick really simple another thing you can do as well if you want to just add a little bit more detail and texture to it get rid of these trapdoors at the bottom like this and add a layer 
of signs along the bottom. Again, I'm going for spruce simply because that's what I've been building with so far. And honestly, spruce wood is my favorite in this game, so I use it a lot. So there you go, a really quick, really simple wall in the technique, the style that I really like building in. I developed this for a build that I did a long, long time ago now, and it's just really quick and simple to throw up. The items are pretty basic, so you don't need to go out your way to get a load of different materials. The most difficult ones to get here are probably the jungle wood and the moss. But if you're lucky, you can get that pretty quickly. And if you're playing on a server, chances are someone else has already got it. So go raid your shopping district and see what they've got. But yeah, this is my little way of doing texturing on really simple walls. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this useful. I'll see you again. Goodbye.